supposed to be episode 2 of the Amazing China series and if you are just joining you can catch up on YouTube www.youtube.com slash Gina Ahikodi. My name is Gina and on the show today I'm still going to show you a very beautiful recipe but first go to China and see what else we saw on the streets of Beijing. It was a very sunny day in Beijing and the walk in the Forbidden City is a very long one. Having arrived just a day before and no rest time in between, the work in this magnificent edifice of a palace was beginning to drain me. However, I was so eager to know more. And this one is the most important building, the building for big ceremonies, such as the uh, Emperor's coronation. Okay. So many things have caught my fancy, like the Imperial Way, the lake that ran across the city, the sun dial used for telling time and the cisterns for water, which my tour guide said was used as fire extinguishers, the calligraphy and paintings, and there was a lot to see and learn. One thing I noticed in almost all the gates we have passed so far is the lack of plants or trees. My guide said this was because of the notion the emperors had that only serious matters of leadership or rulership should happen there, so there are no need for trees. Another theory states that there are no trees because it may be a good hiding place for assassins. The emperors were very conscious of their safety, hence the heavy fortification of the palace. They even worried that assassins may dig tunnels into the palace, hence the ground bricks are layered in a very special way, seven layers lengthwise, eight layers crosswise, totaling 15 layers of bricks on the ground. Nobody should even think of digging tunnels. They may not finish for eternity. Finally, we get into the Imperial Garden. Of course, it is a garden and we found trees. One of the most famous trees is the 400 years old intertwined pine tree, which symbolizes the harmony between the Emperor and the Empress. Anyway, me and Babai Beji decided to take pictures by the tree. The garden is said to be a place of relaxation for the emperor's family including concubines and consorts and all male officials who would ever get to this area apart from his blood relatives are all eunuchs like they all have to be castrated finally we find the gate that leads us out of the forbidden city it was a fantastic exposure to history far more than you could ever read or watch in movies. Next stop is going to see the Beijing Old Hutongs, where Mr. Chang and his wife has prepared us lunch. <laughs> To get to these hutongs, we need to take a rickshaw. <laughs> Popularly known as Keke in Nigeria, as the roads leading to these communities are quite narrow. Hutongs are traditional courtyard residents formed by compounds connecting each other to form a community. A few of these hutong exist these days as modern buildings continue to spring up in Beijing. But the Chinese government is doing its best to preserve these hutongs for the sake of tourism. We took this beautiful breezy ride on the rickshaw, driving past a beautiful lake to this hutong. Hey, what's up? 
We paid and walked down to Mr. Chang's house. Which one? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. 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 As we walked, my tour guide told me more about these hotels and the houses there. You can actually tell a person's status from their building. Each house in the Hutong had beams. Such homes with beams belonged to officials who worked for the emperor in those days. And the number of beams on their doors signified their ranks and status. Finally, we get to Mr. Chang and they have prepared a feast for us. But first, I still need a cold drink. Alright, so I have had a long walk of over 600 years old history from the Tiananmen Square to the North Gate of the Forbidden City. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. But after the long walk, uh, we have decided to come take our lunch at the home of a very old couple. We're about to start eating very soon. Um, you can see some cooking is still being done in the kitchen and so far I am enjoying Beijing. Alright guys, you see my chopstick game is tight now. <laughs> yeah, so um, Christine taught me yesterday and this is dumpling, chive dumpling that I just dipped into vinegar, rice wine vinegar and it's actually very lovely. Uh. Mm. It's nice. And the person who has been responsible for this beautiful lunch it's Mr. Chow. Hello, Mr. Chow. Wow. <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao is hello in Chinese. Yeah, and um, that's how you greet everybody. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah. yeah. So um, I want to say thank you very much for inviting us to lunch in your house. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. But I really like the dumpling. Shake <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> the most comfortable position is to lie down. Yeah. Yeah. And the most beautiful food is dumplings. Yeah. I really love dumplings and I enjoyed this one. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> much for talking <laughs> with us. <laughs> okay, so dumplings are prepared for important events like when you have the yeah. Chinese New Year, but there's a celebration and if an important guest arrives. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Welcome back from Beijing! Yeah, you know the good thing about travel is, especially travel that has got sightseeing alongside it, is that as you are walking, you are shedding that calories or shedding the weight. Beijing was quite hot when we um, visited, it was not easy taking that walk seeing all those beautiful sights but one thing i will definitely tell you is that after such work you need something to refresh and cool down so today i am making ice bomb vita yes beautiful bomb vita drink that can refresh you any hot day and i'm pairing it with grilled meat today so we are making very simple grilled meat but the wonderful thing about this grilled meat is that we are grilling on charcoal what i'm using for the grilling meat onions of course green pepper red pepper, yellow pepper, ginger, arrot as well, 
seasoning, chili pepper, black pepper, curry and thyme and I'll be mixing everything together with oil. It's a very simple marinade for this um, grilled meat or grilled stick meat or maybe we call it kebab. Yes, that's the right word. Meat kebab. Yes, um, I could add some barbecue sauce on it later but this meat kebab is going to pair with ice bomb vita. So time for us to start cooking. Alright guys, so time to start making the marinade. The marinade is quite important because now the two will make the meat sweet. So now here you go, add all the made the way the meat go soak. And you know, usually they actually keep marinades for like an hour to 24 hours or even above. Yeah. So, but today we'll just do a few hours. So I have my onions going in here for the marinade. I'll use one bulb. Because the good thing is, even when the marinade remains, I'll still use it to bast. So I'm using carrots. All right. My carrot goes in. For the marinade, I have um, seasoning, so you can use your choice seasoning. I have um, chili pepper. That's for some heat. Now, those of you who like suya pepper, this also works. Suya pepper will work well. I have uh, black pepper in here, so I'll just take the ginger, yeah, thyme and meat. You know that time where your mother, they always they tell you, say, put time for the meat when they cook. Yes, because our ancestors know that thyme and meat, they pair well together. Yeah, so I'm going to add some curry, and of course, some salt just a little salt. Whenever you want to make marinades like this, it's best you use oil. Yes, instead of using water to blend your marinade together, you use oil. So, I'm going to blend it now. Okay, so the marinade is fine. Okay, so I'll just pour the marinade into this meat. Now, um, I cut the meat in tiny chunks and I'll be using, stringing it into the skewers. If you're wondering why I put the skewers in water, it's so that by the time I put it on the charcoal grill, it doesn't burn quickly. Yeah, so you have to soak it in water. So it doesn't burn. So I'll put the marinade. Don't be afraid to taste your marinade, yeah, so that you know it's as tasty as you want it to be. This is good. So when you taste it, you'll know if you want to add more seasoning or if you want to add more salt. Now it's very important to wash your hands with soap and water when cooking because at this point this is when I want to use my hand to rub the meat very well to be sure that all the marinade goes into the meat. Now the next thing I'm going to do is wrap it with a cling film. This has been wrapped I'm going to take it now to the fridge and as I go outside, I'm going to start preparing for the grill, the charcoal, the fire and all. I'll also come back to clean all of this. All right, Kuda Holly, so it's time to get this grill rolling. Now for grilling outdoor, you need charcoal. Or you can just grill using an electric grill. They have so many types of electric grill these days. So I'm going to add um, kerosene. 
Now I'll need um, something to start the fire, maybe paper or something. Okay, so we are going to allow this bond, bond, the charcoal bond comes down till it starts looking red. Uh -huh. Before I'll put this on, yeah, the rack, the grilling rack, if I put the grilling rack on, then start setting the meat. So it's time for us to go arrange the meat. All right, so. Okay, I'll be using carrots also. This is just for the garnish. All right, so this is good. I'm going to send for the meat now and I'll start stringing the skewers. All right, guys, I'm back with the meat and of course I brought back onion. Who grills without onion, <laughs> yeah? So, uh, onion, the neighbor disturber. And this one's supposed to tell everybody, so you get everything you know they do for her courtyard though. Yeah, and just like the rest, I'll just cut it into large chunks. Okay, so it's time for me to start stringing the meat. I have my skewers. It's been soaking in water for a while now. I like to start with onion. So I'll put the onion in first. And it wouldn't be bad to put, no, let me put meat first. So the meat goes in. And the taste of carrot is fantastic. Now, uh, if you are scared that I might puncture your hand, you do what I just did now. Like place the vegetable, then you put your skewer. And you are good in case the vegetable is too strong. So we have our kebabs ready and the grill fire is doing good. So I will just string this one and take this ones to the grill. By the time we come back, we'll string the rest. All right, for the holics, our string kebab is here. And this is good. The smoke is good. So I'll just put the rack on top and begin to place the kebab. Now oh, that is so hot. This is just fine. I'll string the rest and we will get everything done. Okay, so over here I have um, the marinade. I'll add a little bit of oil and some of this barbecue sauce. So I'm going to mix, mix, mix. And bust. Okay, so this is ready. I'm going to go in now and have this with iced bone vita. I have guests, so let's go. Okay, for the holly, so our grill came out pretty nice. I tasted it, it was super. Now I'm going to make the bone vita iced drink. So I already have um, water in here. So I'll add bone vita. 
I'll be adding some milk too. So like I said earlier, this is ice drink for that hot sunny day that you are walking and sightseeing. So I have ice blocks here. So I'm going to add some ice blocks in and I'll add Okay, now this is beautiful. It doesn't end here. Now it's time to beautify it. So I have whipped cream. Now whipped cream is going to make it very beautiful and tasty. And a straw. Now when you are served, this on a sunny day is definitely going to be yum. Hmm? Chilling and refreshing. Let me go and meet my guest. And of course, this is beautiful. But I won't start eating without first introducing my guest. Mm. Now, this is Joy Obikwe, the PRO, Nigerian Immigration Services Delta State Command here. And my phone is out. I'm short, I don't know what to say. Hi! Joy, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, for those of you who do not know, I have to tell you because I know some of you don't know, we went to the same primary school together, Delta State PRO. Yes. Mm? Immigration. Delta State Command. How are you doing, love? I'm fine. It's so good to you. have you in the studio it's nice today. To be here. Yeah, so she was just passing through Lagos and decided to drop by the studio. So today I made um, this ice drink um, using bone vita and whipped cream. Okay. Yeah, so just have a taste and tell them. And after tasting that one, you taste our, um, in fact, our aroma here. Kebab. Is yeah. Hmm. Oh. Sorry, you said there's a whipping cream inside. Yeah, that was a whipped cream on top. Wow. Mm -hmm. and the bun Sorry, I need to take another taste. It's lovely. She's not lying. Mm. It's lovely. This is good for no. an afternoon outing. I'm telling you, Why it's hot sunny. day. Yes. Hot day. No. So can Says I go down that. to my meat? Says that. Thank you. So what do I call this? It's actually kebab. Wow. Mm-hmm. The basting from that, um, there's this carrot flavor in it. Mm -hmm. I added carrot with green pepper and the red pepper. Mm -hmm. mm. And I use barbecue sauce to bast. This is tasty. Yeah, it's really nice. Very nice. It's really, really nice. It wasn't bad stopping by. Uh uh. I'm hoping you can. This is nice. And I think most people should try this. Mm. The freshness from the vegetables and the aroma is killing. In wow. fact, I have been wanting to eat it in before <laughs> I started eating it. So it's enjoying. Now, then, another time for the marinade time, okay. curry, ginger, seasoning, salt. It was just a simple marinade, not that bad. Not too much, I mean. But yeah. this drink it's is the winner. Yeah. Alright, Philaholics. This is another beautiful episode that I've just passed. But before we go, we have beautiful gifts for Joy Obikwe for coming to the studio today. Mm. Bombita said we should give you very beautiful gifts. Thank yeah? you so much. You're welcome. So guys, try what I try. Send me a picture. I have gifts when you try it, okay? See you next week. Mwah.